Yeah, you cross here. Oh no. You're fine. Quite a bit of mud here. Ooh, I'm sliding. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Journey. Today we are taking my Bronco off-roading. We decided to try a trail we've never tried before. We're up in the San Jacinto Mountains and we have no idea what to expect. So come along for the ride and it's time to get going. Let's go. We started our journey on the outskirts of Banning. Full of excitement, we traveled along the 243, a scenic highway that winds its way through the San Jacinto Mountains to the town of Idlewild. The 243 highway was the perfect way to kickstart our adventure. A road where a sports car would easily feel at home, the 2.3 EcoBoost Bronco took it in stride. Along the way, we caught stunning views that made us eager to leave the road and get closer to nature. We reached Pine Cove, a little community nestled in the mountains where the pavement finally gave way to dirt. We drove through a small neighborhood, feeling the anticipation build as we approached the trailhead to the San Jacinto Truck Trail. This is where the real fun is about to begin. I think I'm gonna try to go up over on the side because of that ridge. Yeah, although now that I'm looking at it, uh, it's better to go down that way. Oh, you got it, you got it. No, I don't. Shit. Oh. Hold on. I'm gonna try to reverse it first and then come around, okay? Okay. Okay. Well, considering we're only five minutes into the trail and I just want to say I have actually never done the driving on off-roading, I'm pretty proud of myself. So there was a space in the trail where water pretty frequently goes through. You could tell because it has created like a rut in the ground. So I was looking at two different ways. I could go up and around or I could go straight, straight through. through. Um, I thought I could make straight through. I couldn't. I nosedived into it. So then I had to reverse it, which then my back wheels started spinning, which is why it's so great that we have that, uh, rear, the locking rear differential, uh, because all I had to do was change my goat mode into mud and ruts. And all of a sudden it was like driving another vehicle, right? So I was able to reverse it, turn it around a little bit and go up and around the deepest part of the rut.
and there's a really deep rut like um, the one I went through earlier. Here we go. I'm gonna go up and over instead of straight through like I did last time. You got this. Yeah, I know. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Wee. She did it. I wonder how many scratches I'm gonna have on my car after this. I don't know. Do you want to know that question? Um, you know what? Or do you I want don't... an answer to that question? I don't really care. That's a good attitude to have. Uh, it's an off-road vehicle. I don't really care that much. Um, I don't care about the paint is what I mean. It's gonna get messed up at some point. I do want this lifted though. Yeah? Yeah, I do. Ford Performance has a two inch lift kit, so I do think I would like that, plus some bigger wheels. But before I do any of that, I'm definitely gonna have to get my steps. Bigger wheels or bigger tires? Um, why not both? I like these wheels. Oh my God, we just almost died. No, we didn't. Stop. <laughs> he has no trust or faith in me. Just a little. Anyways, Anyways, I do like the wheels, um, but I wouldn't mind. I know they're already slightly bigger, but I wouldn't mind if they were a little bit bigger uh, with bigger tires. Um, I want it lifted. I want the step. And I think at some point I might want to swap the exhaust. Yeah. Yeah. I think right now it's good that we go out here on adventures like this and try to put the stock black diamond through its paces for sure, though. Oh, yeah. No, I agree with you, but it's going to be fun to do some modifications. Um, at some point, I do want a light bar because I love when I was a kid, we used to do night rides yeah. um, off roading and I loved it. I thought it was so much fun. Um, so I would love to do a light bar on the top. Um, I, I know I want to do the light bar. I know I want to do um, one of the brake lights that goes in the wheel on the back. You want one of the colorful ones. I want one of the colorful ones. Which I know it's like, some people are going to think it's tacky or whatever, but it's my car. I can do what I want with it. Sorry. It's my truck. I can do whatever I want with it. Ford calls it an SUV. I know. I, I mean, I just, I don't know. It is what it is. It is what it is. I am really thoroughly enjoying this trail though. Oh, shh, okay. isn't it? Yep, I'm gonna get out of here. Okay. Do you wanna walk it? No. So we came across a part of the trail that looks like uh, quite a bit of water has actually gone through it recently, creating really deep ruts. It looks like people go in the ruts to be able to go through it, but because I'm not lifted that high, chances are I'm not gonna be able to clear it with just how deep the ruts are. So I'm trying to decide if I want to go on the left side of the trail and ride on top of the left side of the ruts, or if I wanna ride on the right side of the ruts, it honestly looks like a smoother trail to go up the left side of the ruts. So that's probably what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to try to straighten it out. Now you're gonna wanna turn. Well, yep, 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 keep coming, keep coming straight, straight. I did it. <laughs> we took a breather at the nearby creek to soak in the soothing sound of the water and the tranquility of being out in nature. But we didn't stay for too long as we were eager to get back out on the trail. Oh. 
Oh. Um. So we're gonna go down. I know, I know. I can't tell that if they're on the trail or not because that looks like water right there. So I don't know if we drive past it. Um, I guess you would go straight across. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you cross here. Oh no. You're fine. So what I'm seeing in front of us, hopefully Devin's gonna get some video of it, but there's quite a bit of water and it looks like you're basically going across a little <sighs> mini river. And I don't know how much water clearance I have in this, if I'm being honest. I'm more nervous about this than I was with the You're big fine. mud thing. Just keep thing. consistent. Keep consistent. Uh, how's it going, guys? <laughs> what do you say? I have no idea. Was he smiling? I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, that's a boulder. That is a boulder. Be careful. I am. I am. You don't want to look? Nope. What the hell? I got stuck on something. Quite a bit of mud here. Ooh, I'm sliding. <laughs> Might want to take that left I'm bridge. trying to, I'm sliding. That wasn't a lot of mud, but it was enough. It was apparently. enough. It was like a slip and slide. Something kind of frustrating happened. Um, we came across, uh, I believe they're like forest uh, employees that work for probably the San Bernardino National Forest. And they were on ATVs and they were accompanied by like a sheriff. But the trail is so thin at, one, at that point that I had to let them figure out how to let me pass. Well, the main person pulled aside with no space for me to go past them, but they were waving me through. So unfortunately, I did have to like run the side and the front of my Bronco essentially through a bush. Um, definitely gave it probably some pinstriping, uh, but most of it, it, it looks worse than it is right now because the dust that is collected on my vehicle. Uh, we did pour just a tiny bit of water on it just to see, you know, how bad it was. And it's very minuscule, but it's still frustrating because if they had continued to back up, um, there was a turnout not too far back and a turnout that would require me or not have me go through a bush. So, um, I mean, it is what it is. We're on an off-road trail. So I'm expecting to get some scratches and dents and things like that. This is an off-road vehicle, but it's still frustrating to me that it's like, they didn't want to go back a little bit further for us. So the views are very scenic. It is really pretty in some areas though. It is harder to like be able to pull off and enjoy the view. Um, just because again, it is a tight trail, but 
your passenger could probably enjoy the views. I've been enjoying the views. Um, in regards to like, you know, Devin asked me a while ago, is it worth it? In regards to that, you know, it's, I didn't come up here for the views. I actually came up here for the off-road experience. You know, it's not the destination, it's the journey. And I really have learned so much going on this trail of, you know, what a spotter can do for you, how to maneuver your way around really deep ruts and deep water, and how to problem solve when you're in a situation that requires it. So overall, would I say it's worth it? Absolutely. But if you're concerned about bringing, bringing your vehicle out here and getting it scratched or dirty or anything like that, if you're one of those people, that's totally fine. You want to keep your car looking pristine. That's awesome. Um, I bought this vehicle knowing that it wasn't going to stay pristine. It was going to be off-roading. It was going to get some scratches. It was going to get some dents at some point. And I want to enjoy the time I have in the car. So to me, I'm really not that upset about it. I'm just part of the journey. I really enjoyed myself. I know that there was some rough moments, but I don't think there's anything about this trail that I did not like, honestly. Nice. Okay. Well, how would you rate it as a passenger? It has really nice scenic views. I really think coming from the desert benefited us because we came up the 243 and we were able to come up from the mountain and begin it in the mountain. So you got a really cool transition coming from the mountains where we saw you know, big pine trees and water crossings and stuff like that. Then you come out here and then there's just views for days. Uh, super bumpy road, super tight road, uh, but it's definitely a unique experience for a small truck or a Jeep or a Bronco. I would agree with that. On this trail, uh, the Bronco was really good. I'll be honest, I had nothing to compare it to because like I said, this was really my first time driving off-road. Um, obviously, we've driven it through Joshua Tree and we drove uh, the Bronco Sport through Joshua Tree. But really, my only off-road experience as an adult has been in Devon's Tremor. And that's as a passenger princess. Here, I was the driver. I was the one in charge of getting us through, you know, muddy ruts and small rivers and things like that. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the vehicle itself. I knew that it could handle it, um, but it was not nearly as hard as I thought. Uh, for the most part, driving a stick through here as well. I was mostly in first gear. Uh, I did see quite a few trucks and other cars mobbing it, which means yeah. going really fast. I didn't feel comfortable yet just because I wasn't confident in the trail and it's really bumpy and tight. Um, and they were, most of their trucks and stuff were were more modified for off-roading. So I didn't feel comfortable doing that just yet. So I was mostly in first gear, especially on these windier, narrower parts. But overall, honestly, I think it was a great learning experience. The Bronco handled it really well. Uh, my skid plate helped and saved my butt when I got stuck in that very first um, rut because otherwise I probably would have hit and damaged something under my vehicle. So I do feel like the Black Diamond 
was definitely a good vehicle for this adventure. It had everything that we needed to keep the car protected and I was very impressed. And we did this whole trip without airing down the tires. So we're still on the standard tire pressure. No need to really air down the tires on this one in our opinion. That wraps it up for this video, you guys. We made it all the way down the mountain. We are actually in Hemet, and we are getting ready to head home. That's right. We're just about 10 feet away from hitting actual pavement again after about two to three hours on the dirt trail. I got to say, it was a blast getting some new experience with my Black Diamond. I feel like it held up pretty well, so I'm very excited about it. Go ahead and like this video if you liked it. Comment down below and let us know if there's any trails in Southern California that you'd like us to check out next. And subscribe if you haven't because we got more content coming for you guys. That's right, we do. Catch you on the next one. Bye guys.